Hello, hello everybody, how are you doing? Tonight I hope the answer to that is chillin'. Um, I would like to say welcome to Tracy Creating. I am Tracy and throughout this video may you be inspired, learn something new or simply relax while you're watching. So I've just pulled it up on another device so I can see who comes in to say hello and if there are any questions in the chat. So I will let you know straight up this one tonight um, is my last live for a little while. Um, so putting the pause on that. Uh, I will still be uploading videos and... Yeah, so I will be, um, I'm going to have a go at participating in Inktober. I'm not sure if it'll be Inktober or Tangletober. There's a lot of controversy around that at the moment. So, but I will be doing short videos every day for the month of October. Um, just, you know, sometimes you need to shake things up and do something a little different and the effects of that can roll on to inspiration for your other things. So, hey Mandy, it was good, thank you. How was your day? Oh my sweet little baby cakes, how are you? It's been a while, I hope you're doing well. Okay, so I thought for this one, let's do what I recently-ish discovered that I loved. So I'm going to get some paint for this one. And I'm going to go with... Um, the, ooh, the pink, the Montmartre pink. So that one <clears throat> and then some what for the very center All right. so first off I'll get this on the canvas while we talk about other things good awesome Mandy glad to hear it I've been around dealing with a lot but hanging in there Oh, I'm so glad that you're hanging in there and I'm sorry you're dealing with a lot. So I missed seeing your your little name pop up. So that's good. Okay, just find another location of these big bottles. They're two litre bottles, these ones from Montmartre that I got. And they're so big. Take up a lot of space. And the fact that they're rounded, like, you know, when you're packing things and whatnot, uh, squares, rectangles, all that kind of stuff is better for space, whereas round items leave all these gaps in between. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they take up a lot of space. Okay, so it looks like I got a little bit too much out, but what I'll do is scrape that and pop it over to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Where I'll be able to um, grab it if needed or scoop it up later and pop it back into a paint mixture or anything like so I'm not going to worry about the sides I can touch that up later because so right now I need somewhere to hold on to while I'm brushing this on oh and then I just did the side isn't that strange so they're doing one litre bottles now too oh nice I haven't 
I haven't needed to go have a look because I've still got these barely put a dent in these two litre bottles so which is the benefit of buying such large bottles I guess so now it looks like I am meant to be covering the side <clears throat> that just happened as it did so there we go I can touch that up afterwards if needed as well but I don't want to be touching trying to hold wet paint because then I'll leave thumbprints in it and all like that so still removing some excess color and my big brushes are all ruined so I had to find uh, this this brush it's quite narrow for this kind of thing but that's okay doesn't even need to be this circular design that I keep seeming to come back to but it can be anything you can have a straight plain color background you can have an acrylic poured background resin background even if you find something that you've done previously and you wonder <clears throat> perhaps you don't love it love it and you give yourself the freedom to decide if you would like to um, add something to it to see how you feel about it then I don't really want this very wet because I am doing I am going to try and dry it off a little so I'll go there this point I'll put the white in the middle and see if I can soften out some of those Thank you. Unfortunately, I can't say I'm going to bed. Oh, that's okay. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the very best, always. And, yeah. Big love and take care of yourself. But I won, Ophi. Sorry to bring this up, but I won one Ufi. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I have a big apologies for that. That is one of my things. Um, they are here. They are packaged. They will be going in the mail ASAP and when they do I will send a message or email or whichever one it was so there we go oh yes anything to save safe shopping yeah Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Oh, did you get that, Cynthia? They're they're here, they're packaged. They'll be on their way very soon. And with my apologies for the delay. So I've also added too much white to that. Oh gosh. Let's get to it. Start in the centre. Work my way out just because that's I'm actually feeling a bit swoopy today. Let's do that. There 
we go. I think we'll leave it like that. Something a little bit different. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That looks neat. <clears throat> Thanks. That just came to mind, so that's what I ran with. So I'm just going to hit that with a little bit of heat from the Crafter's Choice Heat Tool just to dry it off a little before I go on to the next bit. again hang on show show there we go yeah of course I understand that alrighty so I've given that a little bit of heat just giving it a little bit of cool air now and then we're going to use the leftovers oh, this side's better so probably the leftovers from the last couple of pours uh, silicon or not so the pink will have silicon which we may not stand out very much but we'll still have it in there uh, so majority will use the phthalo blue orange and the turquoise and so actually if we leave out Leave the pink out, then these three, plus the gold from Semco, um, don't have any silicon. So there we go. And, right, so I was looking around for my purple wool and spotted my retired bundle of green. So pulling it out of retirement for tonight. Um, seems fitting and I just have to create oh look at that I even found an end so for this one I'm just going to have a look I'm not doing string dip technique or anything like that um, so I'm just going to want the distance and a couple of lengths to grip in my fingers across the lo longest length of the canvas so I'll cut that about here and that should be plenty. There we go. Hello, hello, Kerry. How are you? All right. You can see that's the length that I ended up cutting. I'm going to go straight into the phthalo blue first, popping it in using a stick to just push it down under the surface and let it soak up a little bit of that paint into the wool. This is an 8 ply acrylic wool, it's a very general uh, wool. Um, that you can find in many places so that's all that is okay, as I pull it up I'm going to drag it off just the side of the cup because I don't want to remove too much of the paint but I also don't want it dripping like crazy so we're near the end now so quick to do that I know I got little splatters on there that's okay so I think we might just go 
Try and follow these lines a little. Just laying it down and then I'm going to pick it up. So I'll pick it up towards the back. Pop it in, let it soak up a little bit more paint. Coming out again, I'll move it off so I don't get any more splatters. Let's see about coming this way for this one. So just kind of following those random lines that I created when I was brushing that background. One more. Almost at the end. Let me just move off. Okay. I think this one, we'll just do a partial length. So I think I'd like to go this way. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. I hope you can see that. I'll put that down. Move my arm. See, I've stopped there. I'll come back this way. And what I like to do is uh, squeeze out my string, my piece of wool. and then reuse it so I just grip one end and then between my thumb and forefinger squeeze it down pulling the string up Very. And now I can use that string in another colour. I don't mind if there is a slight tinge of a previous colour, but generally I don't I find that I don't get that. So um, all good here. I had a paint pill yesterday, so feeling disgruntled. Oh dear. Actually I saw that you posted, so I need to go in and have a look. Sorry, I just took some sleeping medicine. That's okay. You get some sleep. The sleep is good for you. Okay, just take care. And I will see you via uh, pre-recorded videos for a little while. So, and in the group. So if you are on Facebook and would like to share into our group just for um, some interaction, some support, some ideas, plainly just for sharing uh, what you've been working on. Uh, we, I have a group called Creating and Sharing with Tracy. And yeah, so there's no pressure, absolutely, but it's there if you'd like to pop on in. So I'm going to come down and start down. I think I'll stop this one there. I won't go the full length and bring that back this way. Just pop it in and pick up some more paint. I'm just tipping the paint up and over the wool at the same time, like just giving it a fresh coat. Okay, getting to the end now, move it off, all right, so we might, from here, so 
just give it a moment to sit there and let relax with the paint come off this way and then I think we'll see if I can get another one here actually just there without having to dip it again so another one where I don't go all the way give it a moment oh, I'm going to have to drop that a bit my finger, my glove was had paint on it and I got it, but that's okay we can be able to use that, so that's three in the turquoise that's what I was aiming for so I'm going to squeeze it off again and this is what I do with my string dips anyway I squeeze off my wool in between pulls there we go hello mum how are you doing nighty night yeah <laughs> all right thanks so much for being here sleep well you haven't been brave enough to use resin yet I got some recently oh Kerry very exciting um, do you have in mind what you want to do the resin for like an art piece or are you more focused on like the functional art, so the chopping boards or anything like that? <clears throat> Heading into the orange now. Rolling it around, mixing it in. There we go. So, repeating myself and just going up the side. It's getting to the end, so I'll move it off. Okay. I feel like here is where I want to do another one of those shorter lengths just holding it up and then come back and so now I'll just try and do that larger length full length without having to dip it again so I'll come in there and curve around with that white let that sit for a moment yep just let's it helps with just the gravity and the weight of the paint on the string so just leaving it for a moment helps it to drop down make contact with the surface of the canvas and come back And now there'll be just one more with that orange. And I love how it's turning out. So that's always a positive. So before I actually do pull the string out, I'm going to have a look where I want this next one to go. I don't believe that I want to come any closer to this bottom edge. Um, but I do think I've got this. Okay, I'll separate those two turquoise with a full length orange. So pulling out the string. Okay.
grab that. So if we go, I'm shaking now, try not to shake. And come back. There we go. So at the end, I don't really bother to squeeze out my string because I know that that's the last, the last time I was planning on using it. So let's catch up and see what's happening here. Um, I love it. Better than paint, very addictive. <laughs> it's so true, Mandy. Very addictive. Um, it four costs to mold, and I didn't realize that the center was not level. Oh no! Oh, it can be a little heartbreaking when when things like that happen. So I have the gold here, and I have the colors. Oh, didn't move that too far away. So I'll pop the stick. That was the turquoise. That must have been the orange. This is the phthalo. Okay. Um, I saw the post you put up and I went, wow, I've got just... Oh. <laughs> um, I originally wanted to try finishing my art with it. Okay, yep. I thought I might try something small like your beach... Yeah, yeah, absolutely, go for it. I also got a silicon ice cube mold for excess. <laughs> Perfect. You, you, you've got like some great mindset with that. So I can only imagine beautiful things coming out of that. So yeah, if you just practice on a couple of small things and. Yeah, I think you'll be spot on with that. Where is the gold going? The gold is going in the balloons. So I've, I've done the brush, I've done the string, now it's time for the balloon. And I don't want to do it too big. And my balloon is quite big in comparison, so... I just want to do a couple, so three, focusing on the three colours. Like the pink is the background, not taking that into consideration. The phthalo, the orange and the turquoise and the gold are what's going to go in the little balloon. Balloon medallions. So orange, orange, orange. So we'll do an orange one over here somewhere. Not too big and not too close to the edge. So we'll go with a bit of the gold. No, gold go on top. Don't need a lot of colour for it. And I'm only going to push the balloon down just a little bit. So, orange, turquoise, phthalo, and now the gold. Just a little squiggle across it. So I have some paper towel ready to wipe off the balloon in between. There is my little puddle. And so now I'm just going to do a very gentle, I don't want to squash it out anymore and have my balloon actually make contact with the pink. Um, so let's see how I go with that.
perfect. It turned out quite small, which is exactly what I needed because this is an 8 by 10 canvas. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. So I don't want big balloon medallions on there. So that looks really cool. Happy with that. So now I'm going to look at the next lot of colours. So if I think of turquoise, I can either think, all right, so there's turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. So I can either go here or over here. And I think over here. Because the phthalo blue can go around here. So we start with the turquoise. And go with the phthalo blue onto that. A bit of orange. And the gold. gorgeous color mix thank you very much okay so let's go down here you can see where the line of the orange is actually resisting the puddle from being in a perfect in not perfect but into a round circle like the surface tension didn't want to break over that line so Okay, so I need to get right down sideways to watch this. Make sure that I'm not squashing out more paint than is there. Oh, gorgeous. And this one, you can see here, there's that. A lot of orange and gold in that center and that's going to shimmer beautifully when it's dry so next I mentioned how I would put the phthalo blue because it's here here and here so if we put one around there Now the turquoise. And then gold. Okay. So just squashing down gently in the middle of that watching very closely which you can't see me doing my head is actually down sideways level watching this way making sure that i can still see paint around the edge of the balloon as i squash it out if i can't i've gone too far and i've gone onto the pink Pretty. So 
a little bit larger for that one. Most of the gold, look, it still remains on the balloon. <laughs> so, let's wipe that off. There we go. I am have been watching it and I feel like this section here of the turquoise really would like to join up together. There we go. So it almost feels like a firework going and also flowers. So, okay. But that's as soon as I started. I just went with what I felt, as you may have seen. I started with the circular, but ended up with the angled wisps. But, but yeah. So I feel like there's, I think I need two more. I generally like to work in threes or fives, but I feel like this is so empty, but it's not at the same time, and I'm, I'm worried about too making it too busy that's looking gorgeous thank you mandy you're thinking planets well there you go very cool okay so i just don't know whether i need something here like specifically here and here like although i can't press very or just leave just leave Don't touch it. <laughs> I know. I'm really happy. And I, I think my, my brain really needed that as well. So. All right. So I think if I take these out of the equation, because they look like they're a continuance. Try not to touch it. Okay. Covering that over, does it look? Yeah. So maybe a smaller one down here. <clears throat> I'm just not sure. And Based on the fact that I'm not sure, and this is something that I can add to later if I choose to, I'm not going to go any further with this one. So, um, been many a times where there's just been one thing, and you go, "Oh yeah, I'll do that," and then. Um, Another lady, I can't remember which one I got it from, and I don't want to say the wrong name, says, if you 70% love it, leave it. Yeah, if in doubt, leave it out. <laughs> so for the moment, I will leave it like this. So there we go. I will bring you down. We will have a close-up, and we will sign off. So thank you so much for being here and joining me on my momentarily last live for a while. So, but be sure to still check out my videos that will be coming out, especially for October. I'll have some short ones for October <clears throat> slash Inktober slash Tangletober something. So, yeah, all right, um, please subscribe, like, comment and share, and it really does help and is ever so much appreciated. So there's that one. I love these colours. 
that one can you see in there where that gold is in the center with that orange <laughs> look after yourself thank you very much Mandy you too thank you for brightening my day thank you so much Kerry that is really sweet and the corner where it all comes to meet see notice how it wasn't directly in the corner that's because I was following the white the white wisps that went over it so there you go alrighty let's just leave you there and yeah so thank you so much you guys are amazing it has been lovely chatting and interacting with you on the spot um but i look forward to trying shaking things up by doing something a little different um i'll also have other videos that i pop in um until i get what i need sorted for future lives so yeah bye for now see you when you return to lives yeah absolutely I look forward to seeing you all then as well and in my comment box section and in my Facebook group. So all of these things, um, thank you so much. You guys are amazing and you guys are what keep me going as well. Um, so I just want to, yeah, say a big thank you to you. And so with that, if you have to go anywhere at the moment, please take care. Um, it is important because you are important. So, yes, good night, everyone. Take care. Yes, good night, Mum. Um, and from myself, always be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.